Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. You back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Simple Trainer in uh, Lam Lambda menu inside of our FM server. Okay. As you see right here on this page, this is the 5M download page. This is the main requirement for us to install script for us to install our simple trainer and lambda menu okay you're going to need 5m client first okay i have a uh, link down in the description to a video showing you how to install 5m so if you don't have 5m installed make sure to go check out that video first okay if you do have 5m installed let's go to our first link which will lead us to simple trainer for gta 5 okay this link will lead you to this page as i encourage everybody before you download any script or mod always read the description that the author has provided for you all right once you're done reading that you can just come here and download the current which is 10.3 okay come this little green arrow right here and click download all right once you download this the second link will lead you to lambda menu okay this will lead you right here to uh, the forum on 5m.net page where you could go ahead and um, read the description that the uh, author has provided for you it also has the controls so it's very important that you read the description so you can know what uh, controls to press as well okay and uh, also it's going to have some links uh, the source and the download what we want to do is click on the download okay so don't forget always select download all right so once you select download there'll be a little window that pops up and it's going to be a browser asking you where do you want to download the file okay so go ahead and download that once you have simple trainer and lambda menu downloaded it should look something like this right here on my right hand side i have a tip folder with lambda menu right here and then i have our simple trainer which is trainer v okay and on my left hand side i'm going to open up my 5m directory okay um i know there's a previous video where um i might have said that the 5m server was the directory and i was uh, wrong on that so i'm going to go ahead and show you exactly where to open up your 5m directory you want to find your 5m icon wherever it is on your desktop if you have it on your desktop you just right click on it and then select open file location once you do that, there should be a browser window that pops up and you want to select 5M application data. Once you select that right there, we are in our 5M directory officially. Okay. So on my left hand side, as you can see, I have my 5M application data, which is my 5M directory opened up. Okay. And on the right hand side, I have the downloads of the two menus we just downloaded, Lambda menu and Simple Trainer. Okay. So what we want to do right now is go over to our 5M application data. All right. Which is in our 5M directory. And we want to find plugins folder. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up our plugins folder. Inside that folder is where we are going to be placing our trainer, simple trainer and Lambda menu. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up our trainer V folder that we just downloaded. Let's open up trainer V and inside trainer V we are going to grab the last two files, which is the ASI file and the configuration settings file. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab these two and drag and drop these right here into our plugins folder. All right. I already have it as you can see. All right. Now let's go to our Lambda menu. Okay. Let's open up the Lambda menu folder. Now we, we want to grab is one file. Okay. We're going to grab the ASI file, Lambda menu ASI file. We're going to drag and drop just this one file right here into our plugins folder. Right. Now what we want to do is go back to our uh, 5M directory and we want to go back to our 5M application data. Let's go back. You can either press the back button or just select 5M application data at the top of the address. And it should bring you back here where we uh, accessed our plugins folder at the first time. Now what we want to do is go back to our Lambda menu folder and we want to grab this file right here which is an xml document is going to say im slash config 
we want to grab and drag and drop this file right here into our 5M application data. All right, drag and drop. I already have it as you can see. Now we have successfully added on two trainers that we can use inside 5M. So let's go ahead and run our server and check it out real quick. I am using Infinicus. This is the same uh, program that I used to create a server. Um, if you're interested in that, go to check out my video. That link will be down in the description, okay? This server allows you to uh, start your server, stop it, clear the cache, and also you can click configuration file and add on resources to your server, okay? So this is a pretty handy um, tool right here, all right? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click start server. When you click start server, you can open up the council right here and you can actually see everything being started. Once that's all done loading, you get a little picture of some sort down at the bottom. Let's give this little picture right here, you're good to go. All right, we can minimize this window right here. Go ahead and run our 5M. Just double click on that. And we can just go ahead and click localhost and that should go ahead and load this right into our own server. All right, once you spawn inside the game, you can press F1. When you press F1, that will open up Lambda menu on your top right corner, as you can see, okay? Uh, you can't operate it with your controller. What you'd have to do is operate it with the numpads, okay? So your keyboard has to come with numpads. That's the numpad on the far right of your keyboard, okay? So you control it with that. Go up and down with eight, goes up two goes down and five is enter okay so when you find something you want press five to enter it all right and press zero on the numpad to go back okay so like i said all these controls i just named are in the description on the download page so make sure you should go read that okay now, in order to open up or to close out of Lambda menu is also zero on the numpad, okay? So F1 to bring up Lambda menu and zero numpad to exit out of Lambda menu. In order to bring up um, Simple Trainer, we could press F4, okay? Press F4, function key at the top. F4 will bring open Simple Trainer at the top left of your screen. All right. You can operate this with the numpads up, uh, eight for up, two for down, um, and five for enter. Okay. Or you can operate the menu with the controller as well. All right. Which is a whole lot simpler. Okay. Um, now this has the same functions as it does in single player, so um, pretty much we don't need to go through the whole list of Simple Trainer. You should already know what Simple Trainer does. If not, I will leave some links in the description or go ahead and check out some videos on my channel that I have for Simple Trainer. All right. Now uh, if you add on vehicles into the server, if you go open up your Simple Trainer, go to Vehicle Spawning, scroll all the way down at the bottom to Added Vehicles menu. You will see all of the added vehicles that you have added to your server, okay? All right. So uh, definitely make sure that you check out my previous videos on 5M, how to make a server or uh, how to add on, add on cars or replace cars to your 5M server, okay? So definitely check that out. If this video helped y'all out to install or if you just enjoyed the video, please smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in a modding GTA 5 or in a modding their 5M server. 
This is Games and Graphics, y'all. I'm out of here till next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.